Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another booster cracking Sunday. It is nighttime out right now. It's like 11 o'clock. The crickets are chirping. I doubt you can hear them, but I believe the moon is out. So what better time than to open up Winds of the Ominous Moon? Yes, I've been waiting to open this one. So I finally said, you know what? No more leaving it to the polls this week. We'll start up polls on the next box. I want to open this thing. Some interesting things about this box. Supposedly, you can get a really good box with a few J rulers, or you can get a really bad box with like one J ruler. So I'm interested to see how we do on this and if we can get a decent box or not. But you know what? Some of the cards in this set look absolutely awesome. I'd love to add them to my collection. So let's jump into it and see what we can find. Oh, that one opened up nice and smooth. I see some rippage going on in the box a little bit. All the shipping it went through for like a month and a half. All right, boom, there she is. We're getting rid of our background a little bit. We gotta start replacing it. Look at these packs. They look nice. I like it. I like, uh, what's her name? Uh, ah. What's her freaking name? Cayuga? I don't know what her name is, but we're gonna be doing half the box today as we do when we open up a new box we've never done before and then another half next week to complete it all. So one and two. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for part two next week. We've got our basic J ruler pack here. So let's open that first off here and see what promo card we got. Oh, it's all nice and sealed and everything this time. Very cool. All right, here's our promo card. Here's our promo card. Ooh, Burra Burra Ball. Very cool, wow, look at that. I've got some new lighting. Hopefully you guys like it. A little bit sharper, a little bit cleaner. But man, do those foils pop in it right now. Holy cow, that's awesome. And then we got our little set here with all our non-important cards that everybody will have. So we'll go through them really quick here just to get an idea of what we got. We got a little blood-sucking butler, leaf elder. Uh, I think we've seen these all before. Yeah, treasure hunter, Ferrica, and then a bunch of Cool looking stones, gotta love the stones, oh yeah. All right, half the box out, let's get into it with the first pack. Nice and easy, great start, that's what we like to see here. And let's see how these cards are set up this time. Dragon Lord, Whirling Winds, ooh, Restore, uh, Resident, Resident of Destiny? I can't ever speak when I record these things. We've got Dark Bakuru as our common full art. So common full arts in this one, very nice. Looks like we got a Holy Prince Nanny Panda lady as our rare, pretty lame. And behind that, uncommon, uncommon, and uncommon. So similar to the last set we opened up, we got the uncommons in the back and the rares kind of third from the back or however you want to do it. Uh, Dragon Lord's Breath again, Whirling Wind again, and we've got our first rare full art Prismatic Flame. Very cool. Behind it, we've got Analysis of the Ocean Floors. Uh, that's what it says, our rare. Behind that, Uncommons. All right, all right. That one didn't want to rip easily, but that's okay. They can't all be perfect, you know? We got pandas in this set. We got mermaids in this set. Dragons, explorers. Burt Cookin' and Aurora of Hope, a beautiful looking full art common. Very nice. Behind it, well, sir, the Archmage of Fire, our Resonator Wizard. Behind that, Uncommons. Guys, is this gonna be the box for like an Uber Rare or something? We've been opening a lot of boxes. I feel like my chances have gotta be getting a little better for an Uber Rare, right? Because that's totally how it works. The Witch's Minion, common, and Whole Pig Squad Squadron as our full art rare. Just a bunch of piggies, whatever. Behind it, Magic Stone of Time, pretty sweet card. That'd be a cool one to get in a foil. Magic Stones are great to get though. And then we go into our Uncommons. Next one, beautiful open, look at that. Oh my, Grimora's Fairy. She's pretty cool, get a full art of her, sure, I'll take it. Dark Bakaro, or whatever you wanna call them. And we've got our Spirit of Time Uncommon. Foil, foil art, foil art, foil art. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks pretty sweet. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up some of these full art uncommons and commons again like I typically do. Behind it, we've got reunion between master and pupil as our rare and more uncommons. Not super impressed with the rare so far. You know, the uncommons and commons look a little bit cooler. So hopefully they can get better with the box as we go through here. Lightning, speed, crash, common foil. 
life or death struggle as our rare. Okay, we gotta be getting something good here soon, right? I don't know, maybe some of those rares we pulled were decent, but uh, I'm gonna have to look them up, so. They didn't look decent to me, though. They looked like bulk rares, you know what I mean? All right, we've got uh, Holy Tree, some little pandas, a night panda, a demon dude, and Howl Bodyguard Squad coming full art. Ah, Kaiser Phoenix, there we go. There's a super rare. That's a little better, at least, but I feel like this... Yeah, I don't feel like that one's gonna be worth much. Yeah. Into the next one. Let's go. We've got a dragon dude. Cool looking dude there. I don't know what he was, but Aurora of Hope. And we've got Windblade Elf as our common foil behind it. Rare, Ethereal Wind Magic Stone. Pretty cool. Gotta love the magic stones. And more uncommons. Ooh, I thought not having my lamp as my lighting would help with the heat up here, but it did not. Firebow Elf. That's a pretty cool one to get in a full art, I'm sure. Isolate, Essence of the Void, Common Common, and another Uncommon, Night Before the Decisive Battle. And we've got Second Advent of Hope Grimia as our rare. Behind that, McCage and the Spirit of Time, which we got a full art in. Let's keep running through. Let's go. All right, elves, dinosaurs, pandas, and more. What you gonna do when you hit the floor? You got the Roar of the Soul, rare full art. Now that is a... That is a cool full art. That is some cool artwork, man. That is sweet. All right, cool. We'll see how much that one is. And then we got a uh, Heroic Epic for a Thousand Nights Rare. Okay, okay. Probably not worth anything because there is, like, I believe a promo for that card that's uh, a little bit decent of a price. Whenever there's a promo card, you know, the main card's going to go down to value. And this is Force of Will, so there's not a lot of value to be had as... <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of value to be had as there is in Force of Will. So now we got a Red Leaf as our common foil, and we've got Seven Disciples as our rare. Behind it, some Ice Uncommons. Kind of want to do the two to the front deal so the rare can be our final card, but I'm too lazy right now to do that. I'm just going to go through them. All right, we've got more Elves, and we've got Distortion of Time, a super rare full art. Very nice. Uh, we'll see how much that one is worth, but it's, uh, only costs, like, one mana. Distortion of Time, super rare. Okay, yeah, we can get behind it. And the Pig Squadron is our rare. That's not going to be worth anything. I'm getting worried. Did we get a bad box? Did we get a 1J Ruler box? Oh, man. We're, we're going deep in already, you know? Red Leaf Elf again, not that great. Unyielding Dragon Lord Ragnarok as our super rare. Want to get a full art of him? That would be cool. Um, but we'll see how much he's valued at as well. I'm getting nervous. Why is this box kind of expensive if there's not that much value? All right. Maybe there is, and I just don't know about it yet. Power Spike is our common full art. Behind it, Seed of Rebirth as our rare. Behind that, uncommon. We only got four more packs, and we haven't hit a J Ruler yet. This is looking really bleak. Really bleak. You guys are going to have to stay tuned for the next episode. Witch's Lament, Common Full Art, and we've got Reincarnation of the Holy Dree, Yadrazil, as our super rare. Boom. Bang. Yep, the recovery, I think, is actually going to be on part two for this video, which is surprising. Usually, when I do a two-parter, all my value will be in, like, my first video, and then the second video, I'll still get some value, but it won't be nearly as much as the first one. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. The Kingdom of Diversity Light Palace as our full art rare. Pretty lame full art, if you ask me. Prismatic Flame as our rare. And more and more. All right, let's get into it. Second to last pack before we've got to come back for part two and see if we can make our money back on this box. We got the Witch's Minion. Pretty cool card to get in a full art. I'm fine with it. It's cool. It's Cthulhu. You know, it's a, it's a deep dweller, dude. You know, it's all right. We got Sylvia the Cook as our rare, though, which uh, we saw her in Burnt Cooking, I believe. And then, and then, the last pack of the episode for this week. Can we break the silence? Can we find a J Ruler? Give us some hope going into part two. Let's see. Woohoo! Nice. We got Ragnarok as a full art, though. I wanted to get him. I wanted to get him. He looks pretty sick. I do like this artwork. This artist is very good. Uh, so I'm happy about that. But let's see what's behind it. A Leaf Paladin. Rare. Ugh. That's, uh, um, yeah, okay. 
All right, our polls of the day. You know we got to start with those stones. They should hold some value as we know. This is going to be my sleeper hit, the Uncommon Spirit of Time full art. We'll see how much this one's valued at them. Uh, you know, this one could be like a buck fifty or something. You never know. You never know. And we've got our nice promo card, which I know should be like a two, three dollar card. And now we'll go into our full art rares and super rares. So Prismatic Flame, Roar of the Soul, Distortion of Time. I'm hoping that'll be a decent card. And then, of course, we've got the Dragon Lord Ragnarok, which is super epic. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for part two. Can we make our money back on this one? It's, uh... It's looking questionable. We're going to have to see how we uh, we stacked up this week. Totals up on screen now for how we did so far. And subscribe. Stay tuned. We're going to be back to finish up the box in the next episode next Sunday. Stay tuned for that. And we will see you guys in that next video.